boat tonight. So I'm here with Jungle Doctors. It's been, what, a year since we last interviewed you? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been a successful year? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to say so. I mean, yeah. our new EP did pretty well, yeah. which is good. And what's and the EP called? It's called Open Up, which came out kind of recently. A month ago. A month ago. Yeah. About that. And what was the reception to that? Um, yeah, quite good. The first single off it did For really dry, well yeah. on SoundCloud. Um, yeah, like that. A lot of listens on SoundCloud and stuff like that. And then the other ones I don't really know because uh, just off iTunes, so we get sort of updates every month. And so and we actually made a bit of money rather yeah. than. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first. Yeah. That's very impressive. <laughs> very impressive. I, mean, I don't think it's loads of money. But no. yeah. <laughs> so, despite the fact your first nice. EP is out, are you still writing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're going back in the studio next week. On Wednesday. Next yeah. Wednesday, yeah. Oh, brilliant. And, and what about live dates? Uh, uh, we've got. To well, today, obviously, and uh, we're playing at Blissfields. Blissfields Festival in July. Mm. Is that your first festival? Um, we played there last year yeah. at Blissfields. And what's the, uh, what's the reception been like at gigs? Uh, it's getting better. Less booze. The first fan photos, do you remember? Yeah. Oh, that was weird. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Tell me about that. Uh, it was just two really drunk kids, <laughs> those two boys, and they like wanted photos and asked us to follow them on Twitter and stuff like that. And did you? Yeah. <laughs> are you guys, you guys have finished education now and stuff? No. Well, I just finished uni. first year We're still at uni. Yeah. Last Friday, so Pretty. a week ago. How was your first year? Uh, <laughs> fun. <laughs> it was, it was a very, fun. very fun. Yeah, How are you finding cool. fitting in with uh, being in the band? It's fine, really. Yeah, we're yeah. still in London, so... Yeah, Been like the highlights of the past yeah. year, other than your equal. Uh, I don't know. Great escape. Great escape was pretty good, yeah. 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 Great escape was really well. And um, Bl obviously Blissfields DJ last Hyper. year. And um, it was, what was the other festival? Was it Beach Break Festival? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, what no, happened no. there? That wasn't a highlight. It was a Why? bit of a disaster of a festival yeah. on the whole, I think. We I had think on the Sunday the main stage blew, blew over. over. Yeah. Like it was on the beach and the whole like roof. So had to move all the main stage acts into a little hall in the campsite. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun though, we just yeah. we just yeah. had, had a lot. We were playing in a little pub, like in a corner, and there was the pub was still open to the public yeah, there was, and there was, was like a, a hen a, party yeah, going a hen on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> corner. So in the time since we last interviewed you a year ago, how would you say your music writings developed? Has it sort of grown up a bit? I think yeah. it's got more mature. Sure. A little bit, yeah. 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 Hopefully it's better as well. It used to be like, oh guys, we need some new songs. Now it's like, guys, we have too many songs. You know? Yeah. Where, where do you guys get your most listeners from? Sound 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 Dry off the EP, the first single got a lot of plays on it. Yeah, we ended up trending on SoundCloud. Yeah. Do you think uh, having stuff like SoundCloud has changed the way people listen yeah, to music? Oh yeah, yeah. Because it's free and it's so much. But despite the fact it's free, do you think people are still making money out of music, or is that...? We're making less money. Less. Is that a bad thing? No. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, well, yeah. not for us. Yeah. But I think for bands yeah. like us, it's more important that we get our music out there at the moment, instead of focus on yeah. Yeah, making loads of money and being really serious about it. Yeah, not, not quite ready to make a living off it, so... Yeah. <laughs> we'll have it yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a couple more years. <laughs>
you know, under 20 and trying to, you know, put your spare time into practicing and being serious about making music. I think it was, more, it was much more difficult when we were under 18, so like now it's a lot better because we can actually play most of the gigs we get offered. Yeah, we had curfews. That was the one that we got told off for. Oh yeah, we nearly got kicked out of the gig because they didn't realise we were under 18 and we had to promise to have left by 9 o'clock or something like that. <laughs> You get the saying where all adults ever tell you is that you should always do the band. No. And every adult I've ever spoken to, they were like, oh, you'll regret it when you're older. Like, if you They're didn't, adults, like, if you didn't go for the band. They were in failed bands. <laughs> <laughs>